All right, Stacia, thanks so much. In 19 days, Melissa Lucio is scheduled to be put to death by lethal injection. She was convicted of killing her two-year-old daughter. Lucio's case goes back 15 years, but it's getting renewed attention as her execution date draws near. And now her supporters are rallying in Dallas. Yeah, our Chris Sadeke joining us now in studio. And Chris, there's a growing effort to stop the execution. And with that execution scheduled 19 days from now, we're seeing rallies across the state of Texas. This case even catching attention outside the state. The Innocence Project, they're an organization that has helped exonerate hundreds of inmates. They are now helping her, taking up her case. And also, Kim Kardashian tweeting out to her followers the letter that Melissa Lucio's children sent the board of pardons and paroles. She's calling this letter heartbreaking and saying that there's so many questions surrounding the case and the evidence that was used to convict her. Now, as for that rally here at Dallas City Hall, one happened last night, another expected at 1030 this morning. City Council member Jesse Moreno will be among those taking part. Lucille's case is under scrutiny because of evidence her supporters say was withheld from the jury, evidence they believe prove her innocence and at the very least should delay the execution. She sentenced, was sentenced to die in 2008 for the death of her two-year-old daughter. Prosecutors called it a case of child abuse, while Lucio said the girl fell down the stairs. Lawyers fighting for her say her confession was coerced and that crucial eyewitness testimony was not admitted at trial. They also claim some of the jurors in the original trial have since expressed doubt and would reconsider their decision. Her son, John Lucio, will be at the rally this morning and says people from all sides of the aisle and issue are showing support. Knowing that we have supporters that support the death penalty, fighting for my mother is strong. And Representative Rafael Anchia of Dallas is one of the Texas legislature members who met with Lucio yesterday on death row. He tweeted this picture saying we embraced, prayed, and spoke of her love for her children. And she is a Democrat, a Republican as well. Jeff Leach of Collin County, he's a representative in the Texas Ledge, says we promised Melissa Lucio and her family we'd do everything we can to prevent this irreversible injustice from taking place, and we intend on keeping that promise. Karen, Suzanne, back to you.